All right. Uh, we, we've already talked a little bit about App Studio Player, but now let's get into um, more, more details on this really unique and powerful full tool. So what is App Studio Player? Well, it, one, it allows you to create, to play your apps, uh, your app creations instantly. So think about uh, what is a web browser? A web, web browser allows you to play HTML content, allows you to play HTML um, uh, apps, or allows you to play web apps, right? A, a web browser allows you to play and run web apps on, um, on, on your phones and, and your desktop and your laptop. App Studio Player, in, in the same sense, allows you to play or run your App Studio apps. Um, you create the app, you share it with um, yourself and other users into the, into the, in the cloud, and then download and run them inside of App Studio Player. What do we use um, App Studio Player on is to uh, test on different platforms. We also can we also share um, these apps to get feedback, and we customize. Um, they, they can be customized to work in your your own enterprise as well. So um, these apps that are running inside of Player, your your own app creations, as you can see here, they can be uh, you know advanced 3D applications. Um, you can have multiple apps running on your device. And they really do perform, behave as if they are native. I mean, you can actually think of them. They're running, they're running the code that you wrote that you wrote in a native application, and they're really, you know, running as if the same as if they were installed uh, separately. So it's a powerful, um, a powerful way of of using running apps on devices um, very quickly and easily. And Again, these apps are available on different platforms. So we, App Studio Player, you can download from the Google Play Store. You can download from the, um, the Apple App Store. You can get it from our website for um, Windows, for Mac, and Linux as well. So all, it runs on desktops, it runs on tablets, it runs on, on smartphones, and allows you to quickly test your app with on these different platforms. So often, You'll build an app, hey, it looks great on my desktop, but how is it really gonna look on an iPad? Or how's it gonna look on one of these new smartphones that's kind of elongated, um, little bit longer um, uh, screen on it? You can quickly and easily get these onto different devices um, and make changes and see how those changes will look on those different devices. And sharing apps, um, sharing the apps you create with others for them to run on App Studio is really just as easy as sharing that app into a group that someone else is part of. So App Studio, we share our apps into ArcGIS organizations, so whether that's ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise, and these apps are just shared and stored as an item, just as your map might be an item, just as your um, ArcGIS dashboard is an item in your organization if you build one of those. These are just a, a type of uh, a, a native app type that gets stored in your organization, and then you share it with other people. So it can be shared into one group, it can be shared into multiple groups, and it can be shared in, with your whole organization. So this is a, a powerful um, way to easily distribute apps. And then, of course, you share them with others in your organization, and you can get feedback um, maybe um, on what changes you need to make. I always say App Studio, you know. If you if you build an app, you want to you want to impress your boss. You want to show them, you know, um, the the great maps and data you're creating. You put App Studio Player on on your boss's device. You create an app. Say, hey, log in there, download this, and show them the awesome app. And 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 they can quickly give you feedback. You can make changes. Tell them to update it. Boom, update. Click an update button, and now they've seen the changes that you've made. So it's a really great way to get feedback from others to get buy off on maybe app. Uh, projects that you're creating, maybe iterate through a design process of an app. And then um, you can actually, we do give the, the code for App Studio Player. So just like we give the code for App Studio, um, or for Survey123, we give the code for App Studio Player. Um, and you can customize that. You can brand it as your own. We've had organizations that have put their own custom versions of App Studio Player into their organization so that they can um, uh, easily and quickly update new apps 
inside of it and they want their own branding and, and um, organizational information out there. So App Studio Player was built with App Studio. In fact, App Studio was built with App Studio. I don't know how that works, but that's what they told me, the developer. They said, well, we built App Studio using App Studio. It's this whole chicken and egg thing, which came first. Um, but App Studio Player, another a great, we'll talk more, definitely talk more about this, a great way to push apps into an enterprise, even your own custom version of App Studio Player, if that's what you'd like to do. And with that, I think we'll uh, we'll jump. We'll give it the time back to Tina, who's going to give us a um, App Studio Player uh, tour. All right, we see it. So we're looking at this is your iPad. Yeah, I have an iPad Air. All right, great. So we're looking at Tina's <laughs> iPad here on the screen. <laughs> um, thank you, Chris. As Chris mentioned before, App Studio Player is a great testing tool. It allows you to download and run the app in the real device in the player without a build request. So now I'm going to give you a quick tour of the App Studio Player. This is my App Studio Player 4.2 that I have downloaded from the iOS App Store. You can also download from Google Play Store and even for your Windows, Mac, and Linux desktop platforms. Here I am in the onboarding page. You can learn more about the player by swiping right. In the onboarding page, we have two buttons. A sign-in button allows you to sign in to your RGS Online or Enterprise account. Um, what I want to highlight here is the option to skip sign-in. You can also download the public App Studio apps even without a even without a user account. So now I'm going to bring my App Studio desktop. This is a National Park Trails app that I just created before and I have uploaded and shared it to the public. I'm now going to click on the QR code in the set panel. And I'm going to click on the type on the set menu in the player and I will choose Scan QR code. I'm going to just quickly download the National Park Trails app in the player. So once the player has been, uh, once the app has been downloaded into my player it will be open automatically. I'm going to do a quick testing for the National Park Trails app in my iPad Air device. I will open one of the web maps in the gallery and just quickly run the app. I clicked on the info icon on the header and it opens the map details panel. Now I'm going to rotate my iPad to the landscape mode. As you can see in here, my, set, my map detail set panel moved to the left hand side. This is because we have the adopted design for our, all of our templates so that it will look good on both landscape mode and portrait mode, big, device, big screen device and small screen device. So now I'm going to tap on this set tab, this purple set tab in the player. And I will choose screenshot mode. This will hide the set tab in the player and I can take a screenshot for my app and share it. To bring this set tab back, I will minimize the player and open it again. So now I'm going to tap on the set tab again and exit the app. I will now sign into my Argus online account in the player.
going to hide my player to put my password in here really quick. Okay. Now I have been signed in and it will navigate me to the cloud page. This is where you can find all of your apps or the apps that are shared to you. So I have around 900 apps that are shared to me from the org. I can easily sort them by the relevance. Last updated or last created date. I can also search for the apps from my org and apply the filters. Before I want to download the app, I can tap on the thumbnail of the app. It will open the app info page. So in here, I can see my app information like who's the creator, what is the size, and the details description information of the app. So in the app info page, there's a small tips and tricks in here I want to show you. is the ability to change the sharing options for the app. Now I have shared my app to everyone. I can download the app in the in this page as well. And I can also remove it from the device if I want. Now I'm going to tap on the set panel, the set menu to see what options we have in here. So here we have app settings. I can enable or disable auto sign in, automatic updates, and I can also choose the dark mode for the player. I'm also going to enable the developer mode. So the developer mode um, is it will show it will shows me more development tools in the App Studio player, such as the remote console tool diagnostic page and samples page. I'm going to show you this later. Absolute player also support for more than 30 language. You can change the language of the player in the settings. You can also clear the local apps, samples, notifications, and reset the player in the settings. So now I'm going to go back to the set panel Right now, the player is in the development mode. As you can see, I have these two new options in the set panel. I have the diagnostics and connect remote console tool. So the, in the diagnostic page, you can learn more about your device and the screen, connectivity, sensors, and locale. The remote console tool allows you to debug your app when running the app in the player. We're going to show you this tool in day two. So now in this, in this main page, I noticed that we have a third tab in here. This is part of the developer mode, which is a samples page. You can check all of our samples in the App Studio player as well. You can just, uh, let me just choose maybe this coordinate converter, you can preview and run the samples in the player. If you want to give us some feedback, you can click on the feedback option and send us an email. So this all I have for the player. It is a great testing tool. And actually, besides for testing your app in the player, as Chris mentioned before, a lot of our user also use AppStudio Player to distribute the app. And we are going to show you the distribution side of the player in day two. That's all I have. So over hey, to you, Chris. Tina. Um, yeah. There in the samples, um, so you showed, you showed that the coordinate conversion. I just wanted to point out, um, bring up, download, I think, like the nearby app. So some of these, okay. some of these samples are a little more advanced and they're almost, you know, uh, templates. Some are very basic functionality. So um, just to give you an idea of what you will, will see here. So here's um, 
there's like a very nice, uh, you know, a 3D view uh, scene um, sample. There's this uh, nearby places um, uh, sample, which will um, kind of like think of it like showing what's uh, what's around me, kind of almost you could build your own like version of Yelp or something here, uh, giving you you know um, uh, what are the what are the closest uh, businesses around me, uh, filter them in different ways, filter them by distance, um, showing direction. So you can imagine you could maybe use a sample, customize it as your own for what are the fire hydrants near me and, and what are the different um, uh, medical offices uh, closest to me and provide that as a, a, any, any really object or, or feature out there. So some of them are, are, are definitely a little more advanced and this is an App Studio player as you're, you're seeing here. She's running, uh, Tina's running the sample and we're seeing how, how it works on the device. To get the actual code, those same samples are in App Studio Desktop. So if you want the actual see the see them run on the desktop and to see the actual code behind it, you would go here to the samples tab and desktop. And those are all they're all the same samples. Um, and so we we um, allow you to to access them in, in both locations. So I just wanted to, to point that out. It's um, kind of a it's a newer the samples is a newer feature of App Studio having them embedded inside of App Studio Player as well but you do need to turn on those developer options to get that. Mm -hmm.